You're ready to make an offer. What now? We're going to sit down with you and go over comparable properties to get a good idea of the value and to work out what you're going to offer that's going to put you in the best position. Now an offer has different pieces or aspects to it. We're going to look at the offer amount, any concessions, do you need the seller to help you with closing costs um, because you're kind of tight, uh, days for inspection, days for loan commitment, that's where the lender actually makes a commitment to give you the money to purchase the house. There's a certain number of days that's going to happen within. Also your earnest money deposit. Now all these factors combine to make your offer. And you can jockey these things if you're weak with one, but you have some extra cash, you can make a larger earnest money deposit. You can play with these things to put yourself in a better position, especially if you're competing with other buyers. Now, when you make an offer, we're going to need your pre-approval letter and proof of funds. That's very important. In order to be taken seriously and to look like a real buyer, which we know you are, we need to present the proper documentation so when they get it, they say, wow, this guy's got money for down payment, he's got money for earnest money, here's his bank statement, we've got a pre-approval, and as we discussed earlier, they pulled his credit, they took a full application, verified income and assets. So when the seller receives that, they can see it, and they can put you in front of other buyers. But that's just part of the process. We're gonna help you get through this, and it's easier than it looks, but it really takes negotiation where you know what you're doing and you have experience.